does that make you feel? Wow, it just makes me feel overwhelmed. That's the first when I came in. I was scared. I thought I messed up so much. I was like, no one was going to support me. I disappointed everyone. I was scared. And then when I came out, I saw so many people love me. So many people, people created songs for me. People sent me messages. People kept calling. Sent me guys, I'm just so oh. grateful. I, I feel, yes, them. exactly. They ended I love you. You guys have never met me before, but you just took me as your own. Yeah, I don't know, <laughs> but I will make you proud. That's all I can say to you. Everything I do is so that you guys will be proud of me. You'll be proud to stand someone like me. Oh, don't worry, I promise you. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> yes. It's nice that, um, that moment where they call was declared a winner. Um, how did you feel? Did you get people calling you or did you feel, I mean, a lot of people happy for I'm very very happy for Nicole because yeah happy for him because he wanted this we all wanted it if <laughs> like yeah I'm happy for him I wish him the best yeah that's it I'm happy you know, for him. never lose yeah. the graceful yes. nature that you have because yes. I think that that's you know just knowing that it was a game and regardless of what happened mm -hmm. um you know you have nothing but love light and prayers for yeah. for him do you ever think you guys would ever be friends again well I just moved to people according to the energy and time will tell so yeah so time will tell That's because you guys had a good friendship but you never know in a year or two you can see each other and be like hey chop knuckle mm -hmm. what's up how are you and, and and move it but it was all a learning call yes. and i'm happy that yes. you learned from it yes all right so <laughs> erica signing big deals because i know you signed something yeah i still love being a, a, a radio and a television presenter i'm the highlight of this our conversation today i must go to you um it's how Towards the end, I started feeling sad for almost every day. So, yeah. It's well, what was making you feel so sad though? Well, because I did not have access to as much support as I'm used to on yeah. the outside. I had yeah. just. Are you the kind of person who, you know, you have a, a strong pull of, of support and sort of like your family yeah, and your friends. friends? And when you didn't have friends, that, you friends, kind of yes. missed all of that? Yes, I did. That's it's not that's easy being in the house because strangers are eating. I don't have any phone to even contact anybody. And then sometimes what calms me down is music. But I can't go select my type of music. Like, obviously, we knew what we signed up for. I'm not mm. complaining, but mm. it's just harder. When you watch Big Brother show and when you experience it, it's totally different. I like that you're saying that because a lot of people do not talk about this side. Mm -hmm. And it's important that you know you're as vulnerable as you are being right now mm -hmm. to talk about the fact that it is actually a mental struggle. Mm -hmm. Because I can imagine if I'm stuck in a house with 10 people, just 10 people alone you know, that I don't know, there are days that I'll just be like, eh, I don't understand, where did I find myself here? Mm -hmm. And there are days that you'll be like, yeah, I absolutely love the fact that I'm in here. Uh, mm -hmm. Talking about taking mental breaks, how do you, because this is a journey, and one yes. of the things that it is very important, um, I think last week I had Ozo and Tricky T, oh. and I was very vocal about, you know, saying to them, the 12 months will go by within a twinkle of an eye, you know, and people sometimes get caught up in all the fan wars mm. and the spats here and yeah. there and they don't focus on what they really want to do with what has been given to them. Yes. And then without the noise, there are people who are rooting for you silently and thinking, oh, I think this is going to be good for her. Yes. I know you've handled the management part, which is great, but how yes. do you um, sort of relax mentally? How do you remove yourself from all of the noise? I've been staying away from social media since I've been out. Okay, even before I went in, I had my team. So let's talk about this yes. team and the campaign. How did what was the idea behind um, putting together a structure before you left for the Big Brother House? Well, I was even confused before going in, but I spoke to a friend and a friend introduced me to <laughs> um, another friend. So and then that's how I got Is my that team. Your yes, yes, yes. Okay. Mercy. Okay. Hi, Mercy. Yes. <laughs> so Mercy. Mercy has done a lot for me. I know yes, her. So she put together her whole army of people for me. And yeah. So who handles your social media? You, you're, you're not the one who's. No, 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 no. I don't. I don't handle my social media. I have to stay away from social media. <laughs> if I check what's going on on social media, I'll go crazy. Wow. Especially like now that I just got out of the house, things are still confusing for me. Wow. At some point, I will probably start handling it again, but. For now, now it's only for my mental health. So sometimes I just pop in, check, and go. That's it. But I don't use my social media anymore. Would that change at some point? Yeah, I, mean, I just need time. Maybe in two, three months, I would. But I don't think there's a time I would fully be using my social media again. Mm. I would use it with the help of 
it's it's shown. Shown. Do you know another thing that I, I, I'm a fan of? This has been a crazy year, 2020, yeah. in terms of the pandemic we've gone through. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm a fan of giving people their roses when they can still smell it. Yeah. I definitely, definitely like the fact that you're not a know-it-all. You're open, you're teachable. Yeah. And when you're teachable, you will definitely not go wrong. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you've, 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 <laughs> it's been a roller coaster for you, as I said. <laughs> like, it's highs, lows, yes. in-betweens, yeah. and, you know, being disqualified again, mm -hmm. but then, Winning sometimes is not everything. Sometimes what you do with what you've been given. Yes. So I'm going to wrap up this interview with you letting us know basically what, you know, apart from acting that you said, what exactly you want to achieve in the next 12 months before the next Big Brother rolls by. Okay, I want to star in the biggest, most award-winning movies. I want to be uh, an ambassador for huge brands like banks, tech communications big international brands. Oh, yes. They're very well spoken. I, yes. <laughs> I want to produce my own movies too. I want to start my own business. I can't talk much about this. Thank you, Erica, for your yes. time. Uh, we're wishing you all the best. When it gets too hard, always remember to you know step away from everything because these things will always be there. It will always wait for you. And I'm sure your fans are dying. They sent in a bunch of questions. I do apologize that we couldn't go through all of your questions because guys, uh, we're out of time basically. <laughs> and Mercy is looking at me like I need to take my clients away. But um, this has been really nice. I enjoyed my chit chat with you. Yes. So girls hanging out yes. chat and chatting. And good luck. Thank you. So I can't wait to see you on the big screen. Yeah. Movie premieres. Uh -huh. Representing brands. Mm -hmm. Being a spokesperson, <laughs> yes. mental health awareness, maybe. Yeah, exactly, that too is very important. I, I would do something. Like I think he should. Yes. I think he's yes. definitely. Mm -hmm. People like people they can relate to. Mm -hmm. So you know, it could be your initiative. Just basically letting people know that this thing called stress is real, and sometimes that's all. Yeah. You know, I'm, you know, I'm out of it now, and I'm great. Yes. All right. So good luck with everything, Star Girl. <laughs> yes. Star Girl. Ladies and gentlemen, it is 27 minutes gone past the hour of 11 o'clock. Thank you guys for tuning in and hanging out with um, Eric and I. The show continues right after this. I'm going to usher her out and play some music. Uh, hopefully, you get to meet one day call. Yes, one day call. So one day call. If you're listening, there's someone out here who loves, loves you. All right. Yes. Chat with you guys in a bit.